It may take only a few seconds to bring down an enemy airplane, but the required skill represents the cumulative results of months of practice with countless rounds of ammunition against various targets. An enemy airplane is the only perfect target, but any device which contributes to effective marksmanship is worthwhile. Navy target kites are designed to serve as maneuverable aerial targets for gunnery training, especially from ships. Because of a kite's ability to rise in a wind, it is as natural as an air target. But an ordinary kite, which flies in a fixed location, becomes too easy a mark for modern gunnery requirements. The Navy target kite was therefore made maneuverable. Target kites were developed by the Special Devices Division of the Bureau of Aeronautics. Each issue contains 25 kites, two reels, a harness, a set of spares, and a manual. This kite differs from an ordinary kite in that it has a rudder and is flown with two lines. Pulling either of the flying lines moves the rudder and steers the kite. To prepare the reel for use, the spreader bar is swung into crosswise position and secured. The handle is then threaded on the winding shaft. A harness is provided to support the reel. The harness is snugly fitted to the wearer. Then the reel is hooked through the slots in the apron. And its front end is held up by straps. The hands are now free to operate it. The right hand rotates the crank. The left hand controls the brake or adjusts either drum to maintain the two flying lines at equal length. Ready for launching, the kite is held at a forward angle so that it will rise quickly when released. The assistant looks around the side of the kite to get the word from the operator for the takeoff. The kite is held directly lured clear of any obstructions. The operator signals to release the kite. A 10 knot wind is required. The kite quickly rises to its zenith and is let out to a range of about 250 yards. At this distance, it presents a realistic target. An experienced operator can make the kite perform spectacular movements. Here, he executes figure eights. Now, a series of loops. And finally, the operator swings the control device to execute a dive. Executing these maneuvers teaches the operator how to handle the kite under any and all conditions of wind and turbulence. Best maneuvers for gunnery practice are long, smooth, lateral swings, which simulate the angular flight characteristics of an airplane. To steer the kite in lateral swings, the reel is pivoted slowly from side to side. The kite follows the direction of whichever line is pulled. Twenty millimeter gun crews, 
Prepare to fire at kite targets. Cease firing. This kite is hit and is out of control. After being shot down, the kite can sometimes be recovered. This means not only that it can be repaired and flown again, but also that the gunners can examine it and see the visible effects of their marksmanship. Thus, effective use of Navy target kites in gunnery practice can improve the gunner's batting average and ultimately spell disaster for enemy planes.